dirty diapers, dirty diapers. Yep. 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 Got your pants up. Say hi. Hi. Not you, Tyron. <laughs> Who is Bumblebee? See, the problem is he sees bumblebees on uh, the iPad. And when he's outside and he sees a bumblebee, he goes up to him and tries to hit him. And I was like, you don't get stung, man. Only Having two kids and a wife, a family, I guess you can say, has changed my outlook and my preparation across the whole board. Just in life in general, you know, when I come home from a double and I have both my kids there and my wife's been home, take care of the kids all day, I want to help out. The biggest thing is just the energy. Have the energy to come home and, you know, play with Tyron and hold Maverick when my shoulders are, are burning and... You know, a lot of people like, they don't like to do it, but it's part of life. It's just like any other side before you go out to fight, go in the gym, get nice and warm, and get the last hard sparring, sparring session in. Stay healthy, that's the biggest thing. And make sure I just, you know, ramp it up one last time before I go out to LA, do my media, and then go out to Vegas, and the rest of them is just cutting weight. You guys going? Sauce tonight? <laughs> Last night we did. Oh, you did? <laughs> the fights are a lot like video games to me, and DJ's my player. I've told him what to expect in the fight, but more than that, we've gone through every scenario as a martial artist. He knows what to do when I yell it out. And so I'm watching the opponent's moves, I'm anticipating the opponent's moves based on what I've seen them do um, and based on how they're reacting in the fight and just yelling at DJ what to do at that time. And a lot of times he's already doing that. In the perfect scenario, DJ's already reacting and I don't have to yell it, but it's gonna come out anyways. I know everyone always says, best camp ever, we're in the best shape we've ever been in. But that's like really the case here. You know what I mean? Um, we're training harder, we're doing things that we haven't done before, implementing a lot of new stuff um, that he's getting, that he's working, that I'm seeing in a lot of the live goals. So cardio on point, um, technique, skill on point, thumbs up, all that stuff is working. We're good, we're good. And as far as the week goes, we'll just drill, man, you know, stay, do a little pad work, just kind of stay active and then just get ready for the fight pretty much. Nothing too crazy. Um, his weight's really good, so we probably won't have to start cutting until Wednesday, Thursday, if even that. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking asshole. Nothing to sweep up. There you go. <laughs> Paying for his haircut right there. I got it. Done. I got you a belt to give Demetrius, bro. Out oh, there. So you want me to give this to him? I still, I still tell, Yeah, tell him. Bah, this only belt you gave me. This is second place belt right <laughs> Brian's been my barber for quite some time now. Come on, baby. I know I'm going to win the fight. Like, hands down, I'm the most dangerous striker in the world, and everybody's already claiming that I'm pound for pound the best striker in the UFC. So I can prove it again on September 5th with what Demetrius says, my mental midget mentality. Like, you can call it wherever you want. I'm the most powerful dude out there and I can keep on showing it because I'll, that's proven. You know who he reminds me of? Have you seen uh, Sin City? Oh yeah. He looks like that ugly little orange dude. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, <laughs> Yellow bastard. <laughs> yeah. He's ugly as hell. He does got that yeah, like alien shaped head. Yeah, he's got Good thing we're fighting in Vegas, so when I get done with him, he can go back to Area 51. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No more Danny Glover. Donald Glover. I'm out. Coincides with the fight being the beginning of September. It's definitely a difficult juggle. What time is Mormon? 2:45. Mormon's at 2:45. I just want to get through next week. It's so funny because it's like your fight is putting a damper. It's like it's affecting my schedule. <laughs> Find your mental focus today. What are you working on today? What are you trying to get better at today? The better you become as an athlete, the better your odds of winning. That's just how it works. Frank, he spends his time in here really improving himself as an athlete. And that might seem surprising to a lot of people. Like, why would he be in a room with a bunch of high school kids working through 
different positions a week out from a fight. But fundamentally, when we get down to the core of what has to be worked on, we're all working on similar things to get to that level. I love martial arts. I think it's a tool from building you being a better person. And uh, that is really the life I want to bestow upon my children is that they can also now train martial arts, they'll live the lifestyle of a martial artist. And in that lifestyle, in that journey, I can constantly use things to show them on how to improve themselves. And so, uh, you know, having them here, you know, it's fun. That's, no, that was perfect. Cam's been going great, and you can tell by the way he's running. You can tell when the fighter's gonna peak and they do well. Andre usually doesn't go this fast. He's a heavyweight, so he has to go slower. The conditioning is there, but you can also tell the mental acuity is on, how they deal with, especially coming back down when they're fatigued. Can they uh, keep their coordination under duress? That's all the stuff you look for. And he's doing well. Anybody can fight fresh, Andre, anybody. You can fight when we're tired. Your legs are strong. Your lungs are strong. Everything is strong. The more you burn, the stronger you get. The more you hurt, the stronger you get. The more you suffer, the stronger you get. Good job. You peak in right time by resting up, you know? Absolutely perfect. That means everything's going right, you're in shape. It was one of the hardest days because of Greg Jackson, he killed me today uh, with a Ryan in the heels and sprints. And now I work with uh, Coach Wink. I don't mind if it, was, if it was hard or not, but after three or five mini rounds, he gave me some compliment. He said it actually was awesome. It sounds so sweet because this guy, he doesn't give a shit. He's gonna tell straight to your face if you sucks, if you're good. Today he gave me some compliment and I'm a happy man. I'm just ready to go, you know. Our last is not done yet. Come on. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.